of all, I wanted to thank you and everyone else in the cafeteria because I bet there are so many things you do that might go unnoticed by students, you know. So what does the cafeteria staff take care of a Muscleman? So maybe just give like a general overview of it. Well, we come in at 6.30. We start prepping for breakfast, getting bags ready for the students, um, special diets. Any kid that has a special diet need, we take care of that. Nice. And basically your lunch. And, yeah. you know, that, that's a big part of every kid's meal and, and their day. And other than that, it's clean up, put away stock, and then go home. All right, yeah, that's very important, so, yeah. <laughs> what would you say is something that students generally don't know about it, if there's anything like that? Or something they take for granted, you know what I mean? The time it takes to prepare the food, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hard work that goes into that. Um, we've got to make sure everything's under code. Yeah. You know, that's a big deal with the state and, you know, the county. There's a lot of training that goes, you know, with actually working in a kitchen. You know, and then just having a great crew. Yeah, that's good. That's why we're doing this. We want to um, like honor each of the, the, the departments and kind of like, give you the the things you deserve. You know, so um, what is something you want us to know about it? Like, if you had anything to say about that? I want everyone to know that you know, we we love our jobs and, and we take a lot of time. Yeah. You know and you know, put a lot of heart in, into the meals each day, and we want to make sure that the kids like the food. Yeah. You know, that that's a big deal, and, and we always want feedback. If something isn't that yeah. great, we want to know, <laughs> you know, because sometimes maybe we can be a voice of change. That's good. You that's know. That's really cool to advocate for. Yeah. And what is your favorite part of the job, and which part is hardest, do you think? My favorite part is having snow days, holidays, and <laughs> summers off. I <Us> do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my yeah. favorite. But, you, you know, just coming in and seeing the kids, and, and you know, honestly, it's, it's a really rewarding job. Nice. You know, because we know that we're doing, you know, something great for the community, for the kids, and, and that sort of thing. Nice. That's really sweet. So... Is there anything you'd like to talk about or add to anything you said? No, I, I, I think we covered it. All right. Thank you so much for You're your welcome. time. Thank you. You're welcome. That wasn't so bad. First of all, I want to thank you as a, the school nurse. I'm sure there's a lot of things you do that might go unnoticed by students. So what do you as a nurse take care of at Musselman? Maybe give like a general overview of it. Um, yeah, so um, my job is to take care of the students um, on the health side of things. So if anybody's sick, um, if there's any emergencies, um, I'm the one who takes care of that, as well as um, some kids have daily medication that I also take care of. Gotcha, nice. Um, what would you say something that students generally don't know about coming to school nurse, if there's anything like that? Um, I would say specifically for my office that it's kind of smaller, so sometimes I do have to have kids wait out in the waiting room, um, you know, just so I can take care of each kid privately. Yeah, I think that's really important, you know, yeah. like just a private space like that. So, yeah. What is something you want us to know about coming to the nurse's office? Um. <laughs> that's okay. There's nothing. That's all right. um, I guess the, just be honest would be something to say. If you come yeah. in and, you know, if there's something that you don't really want to say or you think you're going to get in trouble, it's just better for me to, if you're honest because then I can properly diagnose you yeah. and get the right resources to you yeah that's true because it's like if you lie about it then it's not gonna make sense or like they might give you the wrong thing i feel you know right like that. Yeah. yeah so what does your dead muscleman generally look like as in what you do during average day here from the beginning to then um so the beginning of my day normally starts with just um seeing kids who come in maybe from something that happened on the bus or something that they didn't tell mom or dad about at school um that they were feeling sick about and then the middle of my day is really busy during lunchtime for daily meds um, oh. and some of my diabetic students. Um, and then I always have the walkie-talkie on me, so any emergency that happens, I respond to. Um, in between that, I also deal with immunizations uh, and making sure everybody's up to date on their vaccines. Yeah. Um, so stuff like that I think I have to do in between seeing kids. Okay, so this is very important, so <laughs> cool. Um, what is your favorite part of the job, and which part is the hardest? Um, I actually love that I work at a high school because I feel like I can connect better. Um, yeah, than with younger students. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think you can relate better to them. I think the hardest part of the job is balancing everything. Like if there's an emergency happening and somebody comes in and their stomach hurts, it's hard to get to really prioritize. And um, so that's the hardest part. And it's such a big school, so it's challenging at times. But, yeah. That's cool. I have a lot of, um, what is it, like, what is the word? Sorry. I have a lot of, um, I don't know, like, admiration. There we go. Admiration for um, healthcare workers and stuff I think is really admirable. Thank you. Thank you so much. And is there anything else you'd like to talk about or add? Um, My door is always open if anybody has questions or if you're not feeling good, don't be scared to come in. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time and for everything you do. Thank you. Perfect timing. Today we are here with Coach Thomas, our head coach of our football team at Musselman High School. Why did you choose to coach at Musselman High School? Uh, When I got out of college and I got into coaching, I was from this area and I wanted to come back, um, you know, to Berkeley County uh, because I grew up here and Musselman High School had a lot of tradition. Uh, really good school, really good community, and I wanted to be involved in that. What is your favorite memory of coaching? Uh, a lot of good memories. Um, you know, I'd probably say overall my favorite memory is just kind of the relationship that you form with some players. Um, you know, as, as I've gotten older and coached here for a long time, I'd probably say, you know, maybe not one memory in specific, but just the relationships that I've formed and kind of getting to see some of those players who I coached at a young age continuing to grow up and have uh, their own families now in their lives. Why did you choose coaching as a career? Um, I, when I was young, I had a lot of coaches make a lot of impact in my life and kind of help me uh, develop and grow into uh, a, a young man at the time and then you know now an adult that I am and I, I, I thought it really helped shape me and teach me life lessons so I kind of wanted to give back a little bit in the same way um, and be able to help uh, kids these days just kind of grow up in today's world and, and have a good influence and, and I thought I could do that so that was really kind of what drew me into coaching. And what is something you want more people to know about coaching? Um, coaching coaching's one of those professions that you know, it, it's not just right after school from 3 o'clock till 5 o'clock. You know, coaching is really an all-day thing. You know, it starts it starts in the morning um, when you get to school. Uh, it goes all day at school, after school into practice. You know, then when you get home after practice, you watch film. You're getting game plans together. Uh, you're working on the weekends. So, I, you know, I think a lot of people think coaching just a couple hours a day. But really, um, you know, if, if you do it right and you care about it, it's seven days out of the week. And, and you know, a lot of times it's about 12 hours a day. And how long do you plan on coaching? Um, you know, I plan to be at Musselman High School. I love Musselman High School. I love the community. Um, I, I, I love the school. I love everything about the school. So, you know, I plan to coach here. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to put a number on it for the for foreseeable future. Thank you. Why did you choose to coach at Musselman High School? Um, it just kind of just fell into my lap. I started in January of 05, and oh. they needed an extra softball coach, and so I played and just thought I'd give it a chance, and here I am 19 years later still coaching. Wow, wow. So um, you started coaching here then? At the- yeah, oh. right out of college. I graduated in December of 04, January of 05. I started here and just started coaching. Nice. So what's your favorite memory about coaching? Um, probably becoming the head softball coach in 2011 and taking a team that um, nobody really thought was any good. We only had one pitcher and oh. we ended up going to state tournament and placing four. It's out of four teams, but hey, it was, you know, yeah. something. And then just to piggyback on that, five years after that, we were uh, runners up for a state championship. Wow, that's really cool. It's always cool, like, when people don't expect you to win, but you do, it's just such a good feeling, yeah. you know what I mean? Defined expectations. Yeah, oh, yeah. Theme for that year. Yeah. And I know you said that coaching just fell into your lap. Is there a reason why you chose coaching? Sports. I've been a part of sports all my life. Nice. My dad was a big influence for myself. You know, he coached me, little league, oh, things like cool. that. And I just wasn't ready to give up playing. Yeah. Um, but... There was no options for me to continue to play. <laughs> so what's the next best thing? Coach, right? Yeah, yeah. true. You still have your hand in it and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what's something people don't know about coaching? The hours never stop. Really? How yeah. long do you spend? Yeah, it? I mean, like, you have preseason stuff. Then yeah. you weightlifting, and that's your, like, a couple days a week. And then you have flex days where you come in and you practice. Go to camp in the summer. Um, 
uncountless hours of watching film and trying to re-strategize what's going well for you, what's not going well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a year-round process, even when it's not actually in season. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't know that actually yeah. too. Yeah. So, um, thank you for everything you do, and thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks for interviewing me. Yeah. What are you in charge of in this school? In this school, uh, I'm a resource LD teacher. Uh, so I work with Ms. Bennett in science, and then I work with Ms. Cook in math. Um, outside of that, FCA club, I help Mr. Klepner, um, the freshman boys basketball coach. Uh, I was like, coach track, long jump. And then I kind of just do whatever is needed around to do it, honestly. Yeah. What would you say is something that students generally don't know about, if there is anything like that? That they don't know about what? They don't know about you, I, oh, I'm, about I'm assuming. Um, most people don't know that I went here. So I graduated here in 2013. Um, a lot of the teachers that are still here I had. Um, what else? I got married recently. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and I have two dogs. I think that's about it. And I, I actually, I played rugby in college. At a lot of people don't know that. All right. What is, what is something you might want us to know about you? Um, I feel like I'm an easy person to get along with. Um, good listener. A lot of kids come to me to, to rant or just tell me how they're doing. Uh, a lot of people like tell me or check in on me, so I feel like I'm a safe place to talk to with anybody, so I guess that's a good thing. What does your day at Muslim generally look like? A day at Muslim usually looks like uh, me going to first period. Uh, First, I try to clear the hole down here and then go to first period. After that, I usually have resource or planning, actually. Uh, nine times until I'm covering for another class during my planning period. And then I have science third through fourth, then lunch. And then I have a resource period, um, which I usually get ready for practice with Coach Hill, get things going. Then seventh period, I have Miss Cook, and then practice until I go home. What is your favorite part of your job, and what is the hardest part of what you do? My favorite part of the job, um, seeing the success of kids. So, like, seeing, like, being the PLC, you get to see the immature freshmen, and then you get to see them grow and become a lot smarter and more responsible. So that's a good part. Uh, of course, coaching basketball, I love that. And the hardest part of my job, I would say turn it off when I go home. Because it's just, I feel like I'm just wired with this, especially with basketball. So I gotta go home. I gotta turn it off. So it's probably the hardest part. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to talk about or add? Um, or add. I think that's it. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.